Are your eyes sensitive to the light at night? Do you fumble for light switches when you can't see them? Light switch. Ah, 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 oh, my head. Do your parents or roommates get on your case for leaving the lights on? Kyle, shut off the darn light! How many times have I told you you're wasting electricity? Do you like being lazy? Then you need the automated baseboard lighting system. The automated baseboard lighting system is a product that can be installed above baseboards on walls and on stairways. For consumer convenience, it can be expandable up to four LED strips. It is used to Im improve lighting efficiency to hallways, rooms, and commercial buildings with a nominal usage of four watts compared to the 15 watt fluorescent light bulb and the 60 watt incandescent light bulb. The automated base for alliance system can also be used in many residential and commercial applications. For residential users, it can be used to reduce greenhouse gases, save money on the electrical bill, and also provide emergency lighting system in case the power goes out. For commercial consumers, it provides lighting for very dim hallways, and it also provides emergency lighting capabilities in case of a power outage with the option to help direct people to the nearest exit. The automated baseboard lighting system incorporates five unique features to make this a one-of-a-kind product. The first of these features is the emergency lighting capabilities. The lighting capabilities on the lighting system is not just a battery and a light, it's fully integrated with the microcontroller which allows for us to have fully customizable emergency modes depending on where it's at, for instance, a residential or commercial building. The second unique feature that our lighting system allows for is the Bluetooth implementation. The way we've designed our system allows the user to control the system not only through the remote that comes with it, but also through downloadable smartphone apps and computer control. The third feature that our lighting system incorporates is the PIR motion sensing. Now PIR or passive infrared sensors detect changes in the light, specifically the infrared light around them. These changes translate to a signal to the microcontroller. When someone walks by, uh, the infrared lighting changes and the microcontroller is told of this change, which allows us to uh, fully track the user with multiple PIR sensors. Many other lighting systems have one or two at most PIR sensors, so ours allows for um, the system to fully detect the environment it's in. The fourth feature that our system has is it's easy to install. The control box and up to four lighting strips can be installed in well under 30 minutes. The fifth and final feature of the lighting system is its modes of operation. Because it is microcontroller based, this system has many fully customizable modes that depending on application allow for a dynamic use of this lighting system. The power block is responsible for taking wall power and battery power and supplying power to both the microcontroller and the Bluetooth inside of the control unit as well as supplying power to the LEDs and PIR sensors inside the LED strip. The AC to DC block takes in 120 volt AC wall power and steps it down to 16 volts. This then goes through a full wave diode bridge rectifier to convert the AC power to DC. This unregulated voltage goes into the voltage regulator and the recharge circuit. The recharge circuit is responsible for intelligently charging the batteries using a Maxim 713 chip. Once the batteries are depleted after emergency power, the batteries are then charged intelligently. The unregulated voltage goes to the voltage regulator, um, which is, consists of buck converters to reduce the 12 volt DC down to 5 volts and 3.3 volts. The microcontroller block is the central brains of the system. 
It communicates with the user interface via Bluetooth to receive commands. It receives power from the power block and it has I.O. data from the sensors and the LEDs on the LED strip. The control unit block has three sub-blocks that it is consisted of. Uh, the first block is the microcontroller, the second is the Bluetooth module, and the third is the code uh, for the microcontroller. The code is pretty simple, so we won't go over that much, but the Bluetooth receives commands from the user interface and it transmits those codes to the microcontroller via a serial transmission. Um, the microcontroller is basically the brains. It receives the sensory input from the LED strip and it outputs the PWM to the LEDs. The LED strip block interfaces with the entire system by receiving power from the power block and its PWM commands for the LEDs from the microcontroller strip and it gives its sensed information through the, from the PIRs to the microcontroller. The LED strip enclosure consists of four sub-blocks. Two sensors, which are the PIR sensors, they detect motion, and the light sensor, which detects light threshold levels for the auto night mode. The other two sub-blocks are the LED driver and the LED strip, which consists of the LEDs themselves that output the light from the LED driver. The LED driver receives a signal from the microcontroller and outputs that as a PWM signal to the LEDs. And finally, the user interface block is a remote control that receives input from the user and transmits its commands to the control unit block. The user interface block is externally powered by a 9 volt battery, which is then 5 volt regulated to power the microcontroller. The microcontroller is the heart of the remote control. It outputs the menu system to the LCD block for the user to determine the current mode of operation. The user inputs commands with the buttons and the commands are transmitted with the RN42 Bluetooth module to the control unit block. The 9 volt battery is 3.3 volts regulated to power this Bluetooth chip. Installing the automated baseboard system is as easy as 1, 2, 3. First, remove the adhesive covering from the back. Second, plug in the LED strip to the control box. And third, mount the, mount the system onto the wall and plug it in. Automated baseboard lighting system has many different modes of operation, which we will demonstrate now. The first mode of operation is the basic on mode. This simply just turns the LED strip on to full brightness. The next mode of operation is the off mode. This is in the case that you are not using the LED strip. The LED strip is controlled by the user interface via Bluetooth from a range of about 20 feet. Our next mode of operation is the tracer mode. The tracer mode is useful for things such as emergencies in buildings when, people, when you need to direct people towards exits, such as in hospitals and commercial buildings. The next mode of operation is emergency mode. Emergency mode is half brightness of on mode. As you can see, the brightness difference. This is to conserve battery life in case of a power outage. To simulate a blackout, I'll flip the switch on this power strip to demonstrate that our system still works when it's unplugged. Our final mode of operation is our automatic mode. This mode is what makes our project unique. This detects motion as you walk by, and it's for improving home lighting efficiency. Another feature we plan to implement into our lighting system are RGB LEDs. This will allow us to have a fully controllable, full spectrum lighting that is user adjustable. I will simulate this by controlling the red, the green, and the blue LEDs. What's nice as well is by combining multiple LEDs together, we can get whatever color we want from the LEDs. 
Now here's some tips for next year's seniors. First tip is to communicate multiple times a week, if not every day. The second tip is to set reasonable deliverables and to make sure that you follow through with them. The third tip is to keep your design simple until it's working and then work on enhancements. On, on a day, 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 day.